Oh God, I forgot. Uh, I hope you clapped in Ludwig. No, not, yeah, I did. I, you guys didn't want me at all. I just heard clapping. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. We're in autopilot mode most of the time. That's, that's, that's what awesome. makes Ludwig, that's what makes him a professional, though. He was able to adapt immediately. Good <laughs> shit. It's because he he dreamed about it beforehand. I he, did he dream about it, and we did clap there, so I knew <laughs> at some point today. Perfect. Our reputation precedes us. We're known as the uh, the clapping podcast. A lot of claps over here. Yeah, that's, that's what, what we're, we're known, known for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> some, I'll some take us in here anyway. Uh, the official podcast, episode two hundred and ten. Welcome, another action-packed episode today. We're joined by my boy Ludwig. Take the stage, man. Tell us about yourself. Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, look, I, I'm Ludwig. I, I, I don't have much. I feel like I always choked this in school when they said, say something about you. Mm, yeah. Mm. Ugh. It's yeah. always the worst. Yeah. I would say I'm the only person in my family born <laughs> in America. That was my fun fact. Whoa. That is pretty fun. Ooh. That's a fun one. I, most people have multiple people. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now I'm realizing it's not that fun. Maybe a little no, no. standard. But Those introductions yeah. were so cruel to do to kids, weren't they? Oh, yeah. They fucking sucked, that, yeah. Mm -hmm. I it sucks. It's so embarrassing, okay. too. Like, like the intent yeah, was I get the intent, but, but the reality was just, like, cookie-cutter phrases. Well, uh, no, the it, the reality is it embarrasses the poor kids in class. It's like, you know, one of them stands up and is like, yeah, my dad's a lawyer, my mom's an astronaut or something, and then the next kid gets up like, yeah, I'm a bastard, my mom's unemployed. We have nothing. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's just, kind of fun fact. It sucked. But, yeah, that's typically what the kids say when they want to give a fun fact is that they're poor. Oh, it's you, a fun did fact, but did you ever <laughs> did you ever have to do that in college? I was oh, like, yeah, as, yeah, as, as like meeting your meeting your door mates. Did you have to have, ever have to do that yeah. later in school? Yeah. So no. I I had to do that in in my dorm as like a hey welcome freshman you're living on campus let's all get to know each other. And each and every fucking person who came to that meeting was like, uh, I'm looking forward to graduating. Uh, my, my hobbies are, I just, I browse Netflix. It's such a window mm. into like how many people just have no hobbies whatsoever. I kind of really hate it. It's 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 tough coming up with stuff on the spot. Especially well, I was, if I was gonna like I was gonna add anxious. to it how much they also can't like talk about themselves or don't want to. How hard it is when you're on the spot to like describe what you do, you know? Yeah, I also I, I'm not telling you my hobbies. Fuck you. I don't know you. Get away from me. It's I, I completely understand why everybody just says yeah I watch Netflix. Good. What's with all the questions? Yeah, no one <laughs> wants to reveal the window into their soul in a college class at nine a.m. <laughs> True. It's a good True. point. So I wanted to lead us in here, Ludwig, and toss you something that's fresh off the presses here. Nintendo. Mm. We were just complaining about them uh, on the podcast uh, only a few hey, days ago. Can I say fuck them before you finish? Oh, absolutely. Praise <laughs> it. Pray, Amen, brother. Absolutely. We were talking about Nintendo only last episode about how shitty they are. Andrew said that'd be his number one company he'd infiltrate and burn to the ground, almost like a threat to Nintendo themselves. Like... And in a mere three days or four days since recording that, they've done something even dumber. Do you want to go ahead and take us in, Ludwig, and just give us all the rundown since I think you're more knowledgeable? Oh, I'd love to. Yeah. So, look, we we, we, we know a little bit about the, the free melee. They, uh, mm -hmm. they shut down the big house, which was supposed to be, I believe, this weekend. So it, it should be happening literally today. But, um, you know, longest running Super Major is it's, it's out. It's done. It's over. It's, uh, it's no longer happening. And then uh, today, there was supposed to be a Nintendo-sponsored Splatoon tournament with eight teams. And uh, and it's not like it's just they're doing it because they love the game. What's up for grabs is a $25 Nintendo certificate. And and they uh, oh, man. Oh. they have <laughs> removed. Fuck, that? yeah, dude, that's half a game. <laughs> they it's revoked actually... streaming rights. They revoked streaming rights yeah. for the event because four of the teams had something related to free melee, hashtag free melee, save smash, uh, as their team name, so that there's no streaming access. It is it is deplorable. And even worse wow. than that, I was looking it up uh, this morning because I wanted to remember, the last Splatoon tournament, or one of the Nintendo Splatoon tournaments, they didn't even pay out the $25 grand prize. <laughs> really? They pocketed it? Yeah, they didn't even they pay kept it. it. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, they need that. They need that. That's, that's profit, baby. <laughs> All right? <laughs> that's yeah that's, it's, it's crazy because wow. 
like to have played Splatoon to get to this point, you had to have bought a Wii U, and and that's enough, right? Oh, you don't yeah. need to do more for a yeah. company. Someone bought your Wii U. That's doing a lot. Yeah, that's it. It's yeah, I mean, literally, that maybe, it's spitting in their face. Maybe that's why they stiffed you, though. It's like, oh, these guys bought a VU, dude. They're, they're fucking idiots. We can do whatever we want. We can push them around. For Splatoon 2 players from the Wii U, we can scam them. <laughs> this is our time. Well, there's good news here. There's good news. So, like, they, they okay. did revoke streaming access, which kind of sucks for the community. However, four <clears throat> of the teams dropped out and entered a different tournament that's happening today on uh, Endgame TV uh, that has a $1,500 prize pool. <clears throat> oh, mm. that's massive. Yeah, so totally different, like, just so, actually, it's my roommate who runs it. They just announced a tournament, and then the four teams all dropped out and joined it, and so they're just doing that tournament instead of this tournament. Not if Nintendo has anything to say about it. I yeah, think the turnaround is, is, is good enough, because it's like 12 hours. Oh yeah, Nintendo no, needs bitch. You, they need at least. You will have eight. fun over Nintendo's dead body. Yeah, the, I think they're also down, just... down to burn. The thing is, if you're small enough, you can get away with it too. You know what I mean? Like, like my event no, hasn't yeah, you... been canceled yet, and I announced it probably two weeks ago now, and it's gotten some well, traction. That's wait, a wait, huge wait, event, uh, though. Yeah, wait, I, I'm confused. How is this How is this smaller? Like, you said there's a $1,500 prize pool? Yeah. How yeah, is this how is smaller it? than a $25 gift <laughs> card tournament? Uh, I guess is smaller's that? not the right word, because by those terms, it's a lot larger. Uh, yeah. I think it, that Nintendo is like, look, look who, who do you think's behind those scenes? It's not like some young, hip man on Twitch.television being like, hey guys, we got these Splatoon players. I think it's, it's a bunch of boomers who only know about the events they sanction. So my event that I decided to run after they canceled the last one, the, uh, the big house, uh, mm. it, it, we've already raised like 70 plus K. It's got a lot of traction. I haven't heard shit. I mean, I don't, where would they even contact me? My email? I don't read that. No, it'd be a postcard, bro. They don't know what email is. My yeah. PO box. I do a PO yeah. unboxing, and then I just find out my tournament's canceled. Yeah, just don't check it for like two months, and then you'll get your notice, and there's nothing you can do. So, what would happen technically if you went fuck you and still did it? If they issued a cease and desist, and you still ran it, yeah, I think they reach yeah. out to Twitch, yeah. and then Twitch takes you. Kind of like what happened with the Hyrule, um, Calamity Royale whatever game that mm. was uh they would just issue a takedown to twitch and twitch would ban you what a bunch of assholes yeah they're fucking <laughs> terrible i was reading more about nintendo too uh, apparently they uh were gonna sign a deal with their they led twitch to believe they're gonna sign a multi-million dollar deal for a smash circuit uh it was like three years ago uh, but the condition was they had to prevent people from streaming project m on their platform which was another mod for brawl so their only condition for doing this for millions of dollars was just don't stream this game. And Twitch was like, okay, we'll ban that game. And then once they did, Nintendo backed out of the deal. <laughs> <laughs> there are this six a bad different companies. Oh, they are assholes. Mm -hmm. Who had the same story. Six different companies tried to pitch a circuit and all got screwed over in some fashion by Nintendo. It's nuts. Wow. They're genuinely evil. They fucking suck. They hate fun. They actually hate fun. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't know if they're evil. They just sound like they're behind the times. No, yeah. that is that is super the evil. Boomers. They led Twitch. Oh, no, no, no. All right, Twitch let's talk about it. Nestle is evil. I don't yeah. think banning a tournament oh. is evil inherently. But I, I like this video game a, a dick, lot, though. and they're not letting oh, me yeah, like absolutely. it. So that's 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 number two for evil behind whatever Nestle's child slavery <laughs> ring is these days. <clears throat> Yeah. yeah, it's a close second. There's child slavery and murder, and then there's canceling gamers' fun. Like they're both heinous. And and ruining a gamer's day is the worst day to ruin. Oh, absolutely. I a child hasn't more. lived long enough to be sad enough. But me, I'm 25. True. That's that's true. Yeah. I mean, he, all me really the child knows is Nestle rings. He doesn't know games yet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he can't experience that. Didn't heartbreak. I? Is, is this like at all related to you know how just a few months ago it turned out that like every smash tournament is con you know consists of like grooming pedophiles and such 
<laughs> wasn't that a thing for a while? It was it was a thing. You are right in your Smash history, but I, I think that was that was actually mostly in the ultimate scene. And okay. I, I don't I like this idea that Nintendo heroically no is trying to end the Smash Esports scene to curb pedophiles from grooming. <laughs> But I will say <laughs> it was an online event, which probably doesn't contain too much of that. <laughs> that was their pressing concern. Oh, we love gamers. We want them to have fun. But the, this pedophile shit, we just we have to do it. We have to take it <laughs> All right, guys, how do we curb pedophiles without saying it like subtly in a way? Let's take some bad PR for this one. <laughs> <laughs> just take a few hits. <laughs> I just want to shut yeah, them down. I want to be the heroes. Dark Knight. Yeah, they're like Batman. Yeah, they're heroes. We're, we're <laughs> making fun of them and everything, but they've got like the purest of intentions. We're in the meeting, right like <laughs> three kids saved, all crying. <laughs> 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 all it took was five more tournaments, guys. We're going to get this done. Thank God. We've banned them all, you guys. We've shut them all down. I guess there's a problem in Splatoon we don't know about. Yeah, there must have been something. Yeah, something happened. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, yeah. Nintendo, Nintendo kind of sucks. Uh, and the biggest problem is how much I am in love with their IP and spend on oh, yeah. it. Yeah, it's a real yeah, shame, it, man. It feels like betrayal almost. You get so much enjoyment and, and just fun out of Nintendo products, but then the company itself is so ass backwards. If and their games the weren't so bent. fucking good, we wouldn't yeah. put up with it. But yeah. unfortunately, they're yeah. one of the few giant studios still cranking out fucking hits. It's <laughs> the worst part is the games when I was eight. And for some reason, my mind makes me look at the box and feel happy. And so then I buy it. It's like mm -hmm. nostalgic shit that they have me on lock. Anyway, they're I have Pokemon games, cards. They don't even bother. <laughs> don't even get me started on pokemon cards <laughs> yeah you told me ahead of time doesn't want to talk about it i'm just any excuse to make me feel yeah. good about my payment yeah those fucking pokemon cards man that's harder than drugs it really is you are no oh, don't make that joke god they're gonna come for you again i, I shouldn't say the word i guess you're a connoisseur uh, uh probably yeah. to the highest degree uh, invested not not addicted or committed not addicted is what i like to say yeah nobody's mm. more committed than you it seems right yeah addiction adjacent <laughs> but at a comfortable distance <laughs> uh, yeah yeah those are all fine fine ways of saying it i just you know i just don't prefer that a, a slur nomenclature I, I much prefer the more i will one. say i did watch your um your opening you did an opening of two boxes mm -hmm. that was degenerate well, uh, <laughs> you say degenerate, I say uh, expertly. You opened open. a pack and then you just whipped out the rare from the back. There was no content from the pack. <laughs> it had nothing. You just went, all right, next pack. Uh, well, Charlie, I'm, let's go. I'm there chasing the big whales. Let's go over the 12 steps real quick with you. All right. Hit me. So step number one says, we admitted we were powerless over Pokemon cards, that our mm. lives had become unmanageable. Will you accept this? Yeah, I can accept that. Okay, that you're powerless over Pokemon cards. Yeah, Two, came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. Can Ludwig take this oath with me? He's in just as deep as I am. No, um, look, I, I'm Both just... Both of you. I, I, I don't accept that. Look, I don't... <laughs> I just, I like cardboard. <laughs> it's mm. my, one of my favorite things, so I... <laughs> It, it's just it's like a hobby it's like a hobby you know like some people like playing golf and i like opening cards up but you can be addicted to golf you can be addicted to anything really yeah i think that's what my mom mm -hmm. used to say and it's always there's nothing good to be addicted to yeah before she did a rail of coke <laughs> <laughs> yeah she, like, don't judge she me she walk out of our bathroom and say this is how it is son you'll find your advice soon enough and here i'm pokemon cards yeah, she was right. She was, you know, cocaine, crack cocaine. I was Pokemon cards. We have our different things in our family. Fun uh, fact. But, you know, I... Well, I mean, I... Mine, I don't think is a problem. don't have to go down this list. Because I haven't opened a box yet. Oh, that's true. You haven't had that... Oh, once you get that box, it's going to be this flood of endorphins that's it's just going to rule your life, <laughs> oh, Ludwig. It's going to be nuts. <laughs> that's what I'm scared of. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're gonna fall over in your chair just due to sensory overload upon cracking that legendary collections box. I know it's a problem because sometimes I take it out of the acrylic and just hold it and think about opening it off stream. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. And then I smell it. And that's weird to do for anything. Yeah. Wait, you put your Except nose up cocaine, against it and really maybe. give it a good old sniff? Yeah, just like my mom. <laughs> I, I just, I, it smells different. It does. It, I, I do have to say, it does have a powerful aroma, intoxicating even. Yeah, it is intoxicating. Now, is it the scent of the actual card, or is it like the scent of your happiness? Like, you can just smell happy. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, Jackson? <laughs> like, I, I think like your emotions... Yeah, like, your emotions can definitely have an impact on, like, your other senses, I feel. Like, if you're in a happy mood, I think you smell happier things. Like, you... Like, I, things I think smell just, better, just, the roses yeah, are fresher. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's a, that's a better way of putting it. Yeah, you worded it like a crazy person. Yeah. <laughs> shows a very <laughs> strange path to, to go down yeah. to explain that. <laughs> You're, you're the one swooning over the aroma of Pokemon cards. I don't think it can get any crazier. <laughs> Look, I'm just you trying to bring them over to the, the crazy side. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> I, I'm not lying when I say I smelt it, and it smelt like 90s air. And I don't know what that means, but that's what I smelt. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. I think I'm pretty sure that our sense of smell is like one of the biggest triggers for memory. So I, I get why you would feel very nostalgic holding those cards and such. That's, I think that, that's, that's true. That's happened to me before. <laughs> Are you gonna elaborate? Well, yeah, I can elaborate. I smelt I smelt something. This was crazy. I smelled something four years ago. Okay, okay. My dad's dead. Anyway, <laughs> this was like 15 years ago, and I smelt something like maybe three years ago. Spot on. Same exact scent. It was crazy. It was like a rush of memories. I don't even know what it was. I think it was I think it was a shoe. Which is kind of insulting. No, 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 bad there. But it was one to one, and I don't get how, how many I, shoes do you sniff. I not many. I, well, I guess yeah, like like a normal amount. Like what's a normal amount of shoes to smell annually? Like three. Yeah, uh, like one your own maybe. I don't know. It's three more than I typically smell. <laughs> sure, sure, uh, sure, sure. You maybe I'm on the higher wait, end of that spectrum. So, was it your own shoe? Yeah, it was my own shoe, but it was kind of new, and I don't know how it concocted that smell. It was specifically an Ugg shoe, and, and, it, and it had that, and it had that scent, and I was like, damn, this is crazy. And then I, I sniffed it clean out. I mean, I, I, I put her down to zero. <laughs> Did you keep going back to it? So <laughs> yeah, and this is where I found out you can sniff it out of existence. You can sniff it hard enough that it just goes away. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Uh, anyway. Wait, so the scent, the scent wasn't caused by your feet then in the shoe. It was just the shoe itself? I don't because know how just... to create it. Yeah, okay. That's what I was going to But ask. it was there. But I also <laughs> create it. Did yeah. that because maybe whatever that theory of happiness creates happy smells. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe you just weren't in the mood <laughs> that day. Maybe you couldn't create it again. Uh, yeah. Just eat a lot of onions and sweat into your shoes. That'll that'll do the trick. Yeah, then you can huff it like a gassy rag. Experiment with it. The the scent sorcery. It's a very fine craft. A little <laughs> onion, little sweat, little cocaine from the bathroom, and that's that was mm. it. That's what my dad's shoes smelled like. At least we got to the bottom of that, I suppose. <laughs> Uh. Well, Andrew, if I wanted to get a shoe, where could I do that? And how could I save money on that? Oh, boy. You can get it on the internet. And the way that you could save money is via honey. Now, you're probably mm. out there wondering, is honey the same thing that automatically searches for promo codes online? Why, yes. Yes, it is. It is, actually. And imagine that you're looking for stuff online to shop for for this holiday season and someone randomly gives you the money to buy things for that holiday season. Those gifts, free gifts for your friends, because that's what Honey's doing. They're helping pay for $1 million worth of gifts. Just add Honey to your computer, create a free account, and throw holiday gifts on your drop list for a chance to win. Honey will randomly select winners and give them the money to help buy something on their list. 
you can also make a list of all the holiday gifts from you want from certain stores and honey will email you when the price drops on anything on your list there is no purchase necessary you need a paypal account to redeem this prize and it's only valid in the u.s the giveaway ends december 21st but Honey is helping you get some free holiday gifts as well as they didn't they never stopped doing this. Did you assume they would stop doing their major production line for this giveaway? No, they're also still helping you mm -mm. scan the internet for coupon codes to help get the best prices on things that you buy all the time. You can get Honey for free at joinhoney.com/official. That's joinhoney.com/official. I don't know about you guys, but I don't even like go to stores to buy things anymore. I buy everything on the Internet. So wh whatever I'm cramming in there yeah. for holidays, for gifts, for my mom or my girlfriend or my regular friends or whatever, I will use honey on it. I'll just I'm just saying I'll use honey on it. I'm double know. checking right cool now on a fossil box. Let's see if Honey's got anything for me. All right, perfect. Just, just, a, just a quickie, <laughs> like, like just a few bucks. Anything helps. Ludwig <laughs> is ahead of the game. And if you want to be cool like Ludwig, a very handsome man with a great smile, you can go to joinhoney.com/official. Oh, that was beautiful, Thank you, Andrew. Honey. Yeah. Thanks, Honey. So taking us in back to the gamer realm of things, we got the Game Awards coming up, boys. What are our picks? What are we feeling? Who's winning? Mm. So unfortunately, Last, of, Last of Us 2 is going to win something, and that upsets me. What What do you think oh, it's going to win? Why are you still butthurt over that game? Jesus. It's been like a year. What? What do you? It's completely and utterly relevant at the Game Awards. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you, how dare you talk about a thing happening right now? The one thing he no, I, allowed to bring it up. It's not like random yeah. anger shaking his fist at the sky. Just, you, it's been like a year since that game came out. He's still mad that it's going to win awards. But he's like, at the Game Awards. It, Kaya it's, goes it's to the relevant. Super Bowl and he's like, "Are you still mad? The Patriots are here. I can't believe it." Well, the Patriots are a good team. You, you are mad, mad about that. <laughs> you are mad at that game. Holy shit. Now I want it to win. I hope it sweeps uh, so the floor I think with what, it, what it might win is player's voice. You, you think so? What is player's what is voice? That? What's that category? So I, I think it's just like uh, basically game of the year, but picked Popularity. by like popular right. vote. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that has, I think it has all the ones that are going for game of the year. It has Doom Eternal, Ghost of Tsushima, Hades, Marvel, Spider-Man, and Last of Us 2. And it's winning forty one percent right now. Oh wow! Yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely think the outrage online towards The Last of Us Two was overblown. Like, I enjoyed the game. I liked it. Oh, you can't say that. So, I, I, I didn't. I didn't play it, so I can't have an opinion. But I watched no, Charlie play it, and I. Eh. Yeah, it wasn't. I didn't well, find it very fun. I, I think I think Charlie's opinion may have uh, rubbed off on you, Ludwig. I think you should blame him. I'm entering <laughs> these game awards like a K-pop stand for Hades. <clears throat> Hades, oh, yes. is great. Hades is, so is fucking incredible. Hades is great. I love Hades. I want it to clean Hades sweep every category. Fuck, it's ridiculously fucking good. Dude. Every category yeah. it doesn't win, I will at every single studio who won <laughs> instead and just disparage their name. <laughs> <laughs> Hades should have won. You're fucking trash. All right, fuck you, Naughty Dog. Last of Us sucks. <laughs> oh, great. The problem is, I, 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 these. I mean, these awards are they're they're bunk, right? Like it's not is like that a slang term. What do you mean? Like they're, they're, they're shit. They're, they're trash. Bunk, they're not legitimate. Oh, gotcha. Well, well, do they influence sales at all or anything like that? But why would they? No. Well, well, so so if no. you compare it to another institution, like the fucking Academy Awards, they influence how much people will watch the movie after the fact. Like, they'll pick up the fucking Blu-ray or stream it or whatever. It, it matters. If you have an Academy Award-nominated actor, your movie will, like, get a noticeable amount of growth, even if the movie's bad. So do the Game Awards matter? If your game wins an award, does it increase sales? Does it influence the sequel? Does it matter? I would imagine it has that effect. Yeah. 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 Like, The Last of Us mm -hmm. has already got the sales. Like, they've already kind of reached critical mass market appeal. Like, everyone is, knows uh, about The Last of Us. Yeah. Like, it would help people find, like, newer get games like Legends of Runeterra that no one's heard of. Maybe get it some Isn't that sales. a card game? <laughs> yeah, that's the, yeah, uh, no, no, no. Who, who right fucking knows, game. guys? Who fucking knows? Uh, <laughs> Maybe it'll get a point. few few players from this. If it wins point. best mobile game. Oh. <gasps> 
Oh, I just noticed Neo 2 is nominated for Best Action. I fucking love Neo 2. Hopefully that no, wins. Is, but isn't there a category? Isn't there a category on there that's like Best Upkept Game and every single year Fortnite is just nominated? Yeah. Just because. So what's the what point is, of that category? Uh, what, what do you mean? That's what the category is. Best Game that still receives updates pretty uh, much. The dumb thing to me is that they have updates. Call of Duty in there, which like it is updated, but it's already gone because they came out with a new one. Yeah, it yeah, dies every that year. one's kind of yeah. That, that, yeah, that one's kind of like dumb. League, Fortnite, Valorant, CS all makes sense, but Call of Duty that that, that thing's got a shelf life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. Destiny Two is in there as well. I just looked. Yeah, and best ongoing cool game. Too. Best ongoing game: Apex Legends and Fortnite, which I think were nominated last year as well. <laughs> Well, that would make sense, though. Like, if it wins best upkept game, you'd think but, that you'd hope it'd keep upkeeping the game. But here's the thing. Rain didn't Rainbow Six Siege win last year? And aren't they still updating that? Why isn't that nominated again? Well, because maybe they didn't update it quite as well this year. I, it just feels like I it wouldn't is. say it's it merit-based. Like, I feel like it's rarely merit-based. I, I don't know. I feel yeah. Like it feels totally arbitrary is what I'm saying. Like, how do you define best ongoing when they're all adding content updates? You know, like, have any of well, them... The, the, well, these are awards are all opinion-based, right? They, they have to go through a jury of journalists, like yeah. game journalists. And Jeff Keighley has to personally mm -hmm. sign off yeah. on each one. That's true. I guess that's true. Yeah, I think so, it's, yeah. that's the problem, is that it's gaming journalists, fans, and... So here's another, here's another weird one. Here's another weird one. Didn't Among Us come out two years ago? Why is it nominated yeah. this year? Oh, hmm. damn. Oh, no. You're hearing some yeah. conspiracy theories about the Game Awards here. <laughs> I can't let this go. Doing? A 2018 on, game Jeff. up for a 2020 award. Get it together, <laughs> Jeff, you son of a bitch. Doesn't add up. Is it? Is it? What category is it under? Best mobile game. Uh, and best what multiplayer. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, yeah, that doesn't make much sense to me. Yeah, it's a two-year-old game. This is a scam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but a lot of people played it this year. That's yeah. true. But but a lot of people played Minecraft this year. Should we nominate it for Game of the Year? I mean... Well, is how about not? a new category like um, Roast to Fame During Corona? That could be a category. <laughs> Best quarantine yeah. game. There you go. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it makes me realize how few games come out annually. That's a fact. Like yeah. Compared to movies, there's like, you know, we got like 20 games total here. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I, I feel like in, at the end of the day, we only play like six or seven. All right. Counterpoint. What movies came out this year, though? Nothing. <laughs> oh, shit. Counter, counter yeah. counterpoint Jeez, on that, that one, that though. Actually kills I me. mean, it's, it's easier to design in a quarantine than it is to film a f movie in a quarantine. Ooh, counterpoint on counter, that. Counter counterpoint. Ooh. Ooh, Jackson, your rebuttal. Counter, counter, counterpoint. That it's, it's harder to release the movies during quarantine because no one can go to the cinemas, though. But Everyone you, can but play you, games from home. That, well, you just that, that helps my argument. You just argued Andrew's point. <laughs> well, all right, well, yeah. all right, I was skipping, uh, I was skipping ahead. That's the counter, 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 counterpoint. <laughs> so what you have to do now? Your counter, 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 and your five counter to match uh, up. It's too, too far. You're too losing far, this yeah. race, yeah. buddy. Yeah. So now Andrew has to defend Jackson's point. Motion to yeah. ban the word counterpoints uh, sustained. Have you guys seen that Warner Brothers uh, said that they're going to release all of their movies oh, on yeah, HBO yeah. Max? I did see that. That's really? good news. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, along with theater. So all of their shit, Matrix 4, what are, the new Suicide Squad, I guess, if you're stupid enough to pay for it. But yeah, they're going to put all their movies online now. Uh, oh, wow. Like, like that. at the same time they're releasing theaters? That... Yep. Yeah, it's yep. great. I'm which totally I feel like is gonna really fuck over movie theaters, which is fine by me. Fuck you. you Just like the airline the industry, they've been they've gotten away too long with pushing everyone around, selling us a, just like shitty tepid beer and popcorn at an upsell. To be uh, fair, that's because prices. the movie studios were also fucking around the cinemas by like uh, Disney does a whole thing with the movie theaters where they have to display their movies in a certain amount of rooms or whatever true and they get a larger percentage of the yeah they tickets. take like 70 or 80 percent of every sale to that movie yeah it's pretty fucked true, i actually feel bad for movie theaters mm, eh, well, I, i'll be honest 
sucks for them, but I'm okay if they have to get a little bit more competitive and actually try to earn your money instead of just. I don't know how much more competitive it, they can get though. I think they come out leaner. I don't know. They don't come sell out looking like uh, you know those beer ones that have craft beer and shit and whatever cool amenities they have at movie theaters. More buttery popcorn. Turn it into more like a restaurant where it's an experience. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Just yeah. yeah why not? That's not instead a bad of, idea, actually. In, it's, instead of making people <laughs> pay like sixty bucks for two tickets and then you have to sit at the very edge of the room where it's like all distorted with the perspective. Screw you. And uh, why not? Let's just let we've everyone's always wanted this, right? The the second the movies are released. Yeah. I wish I could just watch this at home. Yeah. Ugh. Yep. Yeah. But the experience is still cool. Like it, it should be an option. Like I could watch this at home, or I could go to the movie theater and watch it on the huge screen. You know, yeah. I like having the yeah. option. Yeah, I mean, there is definitely an experience the movie theater. You can't get at home with that, and also like the sound, the Dolby sound. Yeah, the, like it, there's to to give them credit, I guess there is some magic to a movie theater, whether it's worth the price or not. So, no, absolutely. I agree. Yeah. But I'm also with Kaya. It is way too fucking expensive to get like two kernels of popcorn in a movie theater. Well, that's you know why it's expensive, mm -hmm. right? That's where they make all their money. That is literally all their money. No, I get yeah. it. I'm just saying it still is a hassle. It's yeah. literally it wouldn't like even be that, twenty dollars. That's terrible. If like I get my drink, I get my popcorn, I sit down, and I have to like sit there to f for like thirty minutes of ads. True. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking advertising yeah. and trailers. Like I, I burn through my popcorn before the movie even starts. Do you not like that Definitely. part? Why would being, I not just watch? Getting on your movie oh, critic. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I like that part. Look, I listen to the old Dane Cook stand up. I sit there and I, I drink I drink my my Coke and eat my popcorn and talk about my uh my thoughts on all the trailers and I tell everyone around me which one you should go watch. <laughs> Do you know everyone in the theater? <laughs> right? Right? Hey, hey guys, that movie looks good, huh? You in the fourth <laughs> row, what do you think? I, oh, wait, Andrew and Jackson, do you remember when you guys were over in the States two years ago and we went to see Mission Impossible? I remember during the fucking trailers, Kyle would like lean over with him. Uh, I don't remember what movie, but it was like a bad movie and Kyle went like, that movie looks fucking terrible and he like shouted it across our whole row. I, I sank into my goddamn seat. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> I has my spirit animal. I don't remember at all, but <laughs> fuck. And look, if you're gonna, I mean, I'm kind of Ludwig here. If you're gonna force people to watch your shitty trailers and ads, fuck you. I'm gonna heckle. Screw you. But Charlie, to be fair, during the movie, I don't make any peeps. No, right? no, no, no. No, it was literally only oh, during yeah. the trailer. We, we were a real ruckus group having fun, and then as soon as the movie started, all four of us shut the fuck <laughs> up the entire time. It was a good movie. It was a great movie. I loved that movie. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Yeah, RIP to movie theaters. Shit's in the past. I actually also think that mm. this also will, might like, like Mulan flopped, right? Mulan flopped, yeah. flopped. Very hard. Very, very hard. Is this like you buy it happens. on HBO or you have HBO Max and you get it? I think you have to buy them once you have. Well, actually, yeah, you have to buy them. Wait, yeah, no, wait, Charlie, you just... bought Mulan, right? Yeah, but that you was Disney. This is HBO. Extra. Yeah, oh, there's no way that they just give you the movie. If they give you the movie, that's kind of insane. Yeah, it's an upcharge. It has to be. They would make no... Yeah, they wouldn't recoup their costs. That's what they did for Mulan, and now Disney backed out of that strat of uh, of charging. <laughs> it did not well, work at all. Uh, that's also unlucky. Just because, I think that's mostly because it was an awful film that got bad reception terrible. as well. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, bet, bet. don't back out of the payment scheme. Back out of sh making shitty movies or like raping old 2D movies to death with a you know, real-life remake. Yeah, they do like doing that. Them. Yeah, they seem to really enjoy yeah. that. Did you guys, I think I'm the only one here that did, but I'll ask anyway. Did any of you see the Artemis Fowl movie, the other Disney movie that came out this year? No, no Artemis Fowl, like the I book? didn't even know they made a movie. Yeah, yeah. so it is single-handedly the worst Disney movie ever made. And I say that in, in absolute honesty. I've never seen a worse Disney movie in my life. This movie looks like it was edited together by a high school student. It is terrible. It is absolutely fucking terrible. So Disney's 0 for 2 on their streaming service drops. It's fucking <laughs> rough, man. What was the uh, what was the book about? Oh, she was like dragons that came out when we were a kid, and they also screwed that one. Percy Jackson. Oh. No, no, no. They I did know screw Percy Aragorn? Jackson as well. Ar yeah. Hey, yeah, Aragorn. Yeah. Aragorn. 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 The genius yeah, yeah, title of changing bad. the D to an E, and then you have Aragorn. I feel like all of these are such fuck-ups. Like, Harry Potter is your formula just 
do that. Just yep. make really good movie, and then you're going to make billions. Yeah. You just can't fuck up the first one. I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at the Artemis Fowl pictures in there. <laughs> It's so like I can't I I can't find enough words to describe it. It's a movie where there's kind of a storyline. I'll break it down. This kid's dad goes missing into a fairy dimension, and at the <laughs> same time, a fairy gets lost in the human dimension. And Artemis Fowl is supposed to be like this criminal mastermind, but he's just a kid. And it basically boils down to he kidnaps the fairy, and then they eventually become friends. And then his dad is being held hostage by like evil fairy cloak wielders or some shit. And then the movie just ends with his dad coming back out of nowhere, Artemis Fowl having done nothing, and then Josh Gad eating dirt and shitting it out. That's basically the whole movie. There, it is terrible. Hey, what's that terrible, about shitting yeah. dirt? Yeah, Where did jo that come from? Josh, Cat, Josh Gad plays a, a dwarf, and in the dwarf universe of Artemis Fowl, they dig with their mouth. So he like breaks his jaw <laughs> and starts eating okay. dirt. Okay, is this the out. problem with their filmmaking, or is this the source material not translating to film? Uh, Live this action. is filmmaking. This is this is their filmmaking. Like the books have a storyline where he's like a, like a criminal. He's supposed to be a super genius, but in this movie, all he does is just sit around and talk to a fairy until everything else just gets done for him. Is he a kid it's, in the books? Yeah, he's a kid in the yeah. books. I think that's tough. Yeah, but I mean, it can't be hard to just make a story, though, like any story. It just sucks that you have to, like, if you it was written as a kid, you have to hire a kid who, in, like, you know, kids are just dumb. Like, I feel like it's hard <laughs> to put on film a kid being a five-head genius. Yeah, why'd, they let, why'd we let a kid direct mm. and write the movie? It doesn't <laughs> make sense. <laughs> that's not, that's no excuse. It's like... There's movies with uh, skilled and talented child actors that that's yeah, no wait, excuse. Yeah. You already made suck. it. And, and if anyone's already... going to make a good child actor movie, it's Disney. They've made plenty in the past. But you already provided proof of like that happening with Harry Potter. Like that, that cast was good. No, I, I guess I meant like, yeah, but the, there was less expectation. Like the kids were all bumbling mm. idiots and I liked Ron because he was dumb and yeah. had funny lines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess you're right. Yeah. But if Ron's no meant to be Sherlock, be it's, uh, that's why I hate watching, uh, what's that one? Young Sheldon. Oh, oh God. what the fuck? You set, you set yourself up for oh, that, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Young you Sheldon, just... that's, 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 the, that's the pinnacle of, <laughs> stop doing this to child actors. Yeah, well. Just hearing that made me cringe. That, that, that must be so awful. I forgot What, what, all, about what that. awful parents to sign their kid up for that as well. That's just fucked up. You, they sign, should not have to sign what? him up to be a genius. I think that's kind of like there's nothing wrong with that. If they had what? the talent. Yeah, but, but it, it's, it, if you look at the history, you are setting your child up for failure if you make them a child yeah. actor. Yeah, I mean, I agree, mm -hmm. but I don't think there's like evil intention behind it. But He's also imagine if that. 20 years later, your mom said, hey, yeah, you were actually supposed to be the main actor in a movie. And <laughs> instead, we went to Denny's. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I would never forget that him. <laughs> yeah, you'd be pissed. I mean, it worked out fine for like Daniel Radcliffe and and that whole bunch. They're yeah. fine, right? Yeah, they're good. Yeah, I think they're all good. Maybe because they're British. Yeah, they might not diddle kid actors over there as much as Hollywood does here. <coughs> Speaking of diddling, Kai, it's that time. Tell them about Express Deep Jesus <laughs> VPN. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? The fuck kind of segue was that anyway? It was supposed, I didn't get to finish because I, I tripped over my words. I was going to say, so you stopped getting diddled. Your last was, segue to Honey was my dead father's shoe smell, and now your segue yeah. to ExpressVPN is diddling, kid. Diddling. <laughs> Express DP. Uh, tell well, us about diddling. the good VPN. Oh, Lord. If, if you don't want to get diddled by the governments, that's what I was trying to ISP, say. Spying on you, shoving cookies up your ass, tracking right. your browser history, what the fuck you search it. for. Anything, any, you know, activities that might skirt what is moral or legal. None of their fucking business. They don't have to know about it. Fuck them. That's what ExpressVPN is here for. Download it. One button installation. You just, you literally just set it up to always launch with your computer. You're done. Okay, you can get a yearly subscription with us. And get three months for free of the yearly plan if you use um, slash official, as always. 
ExpressVPN, also we've been talking about these streaming services. Fuck region blocking. Fuck you. Fuck Netflix, Hulu, Disney, HBO Max. Punch them all in the mouth. Fuck you. No more region blocks. It doesn't matter where you are on Earth. I, I'm pretty sure ExpressVPN has like servers on, in every country on the planet almost, and probably the moon too. So expressvpn.com <laughs> slash official. May or may not be oh, on my. the moon. <laughs> 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 not guaranteed but what is guaranteed is your privacy okay so hide your internet activity don't get diddled by the spying eyes google doesn't have to know what you're searching okay or what you're up to on other websites all these motherfuckers like tracking you by the way you know twitter facebook they all have their trackers basically put in your browser and your uh, you know, on your computer so even if you're on other websites they know you're on that website they know about all of your activities why? That's fucked up. Screw yeah, them. Huh? That is fucked up. And they do that for marketing purposes. So your data should be yours. Don't let Amazon and shit make money off of your data. Don't give them that stuff, at least not for free. So go to expressvpn.com slash official. Protect your privacy. Yeah, grow spy yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Also, remember, you can switch your regions and watch different region Netflix to check out shows that you can't normally check out. I'm going to go ahead yeah. and double check this one live on the air. And yep, it is correct. If you have American Netflix, you cannot watch the Lord of the Rings movies. <gasps> oh, what the fuck? And are they available on the moon? And mm -hmm. apparently they are available on Canadian Netflix. So if you want to check go. out, if you want to check out legitimately one of the greatest trio of movies ever made, try Express no VPN. No child actors either. Yeah. Try ExpressVPN, check that shit out, and you can get three months for free by going to expressvpn.com slash official, E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash official for three months free. Mm -hmm. That'll give you plenty of time, maybe just enough time to watch all three Lord of the Rings movies, because goddamn are those God, movies. They're so long. <laughs> they're, they're so they, they are legitimately 11 and a half hours to end to end. <laughs> And they're so good. And, but and they're so good. Even, they're so fucking good. You're not even mentioning, not to mention The Hobbit, which also was just artificially uh, inflated yeah. to be also, like, what, 200 also, hours? It's like a little bonus movie if that. 11 and a half hours of movies isn't enough for you. Was it meant to be a third Hobbit? There was a third Hobbit. Yeah. Oh, it was, was really bad. Hobbit. <laughs> what am I thinking of? I think The Desolation of Smaug. Something like that. Mm -hmm. The third one. I, was I thought that was the second one. Oh, you might be right. I don't remember. That's that's the one where the main the main dwarf and the big orc fight on the ice and just scream at each other for like twenty minutes. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Legolas is there too, and the girls there yeah. and shit. Yeah, and it, oh, like the, yeah, the, yeah, the first yeah. half of the movie's okay, and then the last half is just pure butt fucking chaos with everyone yelling the entire time. The second, the second one ends with the dragon flying over that water city, right? Yeah, and I then it has the city uh, on the oh, lake. Yeah. He shoots him with yeah. the, the, the one the arrow that arrow. happens to hit the one spot, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I will say Good that shot. book is Why? very short. Oh, the Hob well, The Hobbit's a children's book. Yeah. I, yeah. The movies are just very long. Like, they took yeah. the same exact formula, the same three movies, two and a half hours, that they did for three, like, fat books... For one children's book, which and I don't know how funny, they did that. That's crazy. What's funny, too, is the children's book, the fucking Hobbit book. A third of it is lyrics to songs that you, they don't even tell you how to sing. Oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. It, it's neat. It's like nice world building, but it also means the book's short as fuck because they're like, OK, we are all here in in Frodo, not Frodo, Bilbo's house, and we're about to go on an adventure. But let's sing first. And the next six pages are like, and here's the song the dwarves sang. <laughs> <laughs> Misty Mountains they're went they're hard. The one in the movie, cute. the yeah. adaption. Oh, yeah. there's, nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just I'm pointing out how just the book finds ways to get shorter and shorter, and yet the movies for The Hobbit are like what five hours in total. Yeah, e even though the movies were mm. fucking awful, it is it is pretty impressive that they were able to get a trilogy out of that. Yeah, exactly. It's, a, it's very short. Good for them. Lord of the Rings is so fucking cool, cool, man. It is cool. It is cool universe. Very cool Absolutely. universe. Absolutely. There are points where I think I want to be a Lord of the Rings nerd, but I don't want to do the work for it. No, it's not worth no. it. Just watch the movies. Yeah, watch the movies. Yeah. They give you all, they give you enough. You miss some details, but who cares? Wasn't uh, Amazon gonna make uh, some sort of a show? They still oh, are. Yeah. The, oh, they still are. Okay. Yeah. Last I heard, that's in production, right? Like a Lord of the Rings Jesus. show. Yeah. Mm. They, they're filming so, in New uh, Zealand again, I think. 
which one of you said that it's a total of five hours? It's actually longer. So the extended edition, all in all, of The Hobbit adds up to 532 minutes. Ooh. That's nine so hours almost and six minutes. hours. Or oh, no, it's less than nine hours. Uh, eight hours, 40, 50 minutes. Yeah, yeah thereabouts. So That's Jesus. long as shit. Jesus. That's not <laughs> worth it. Holy shit. It's that, like, how worth that time. holy yeah. fuck. The extended wow. edition is yeah, not yeah, worth it. Wrong. I can be. only remember like three things that happened in that series. So how is it even that long? How do they pad it so much? Well, they, they intentionally they intentionally padded it. Um, I think originally The Hobbit was supposed to be one movie and then they stretched it to three because of how well the original trilogy did. So... Who did the Hobbit? Oh. Who did the Hobbit movies? It wasn't uh, Peter Jackson. Peter, it was Peter Jackson. Yeah, it was. Oh, what the I fuck think happened? they ran everything one to one. I think they went. Did they, they do the same thing where they filmed them all at once as well? Yeah, I, I genuinely just think it was just it didn't translate well from you know. There just wasn't enough color. source material. Yeah. Didn't they? All, I, I mean, apparently there was plenty. Jesus. Also, didn't they make Gandalf cry? Oh, that's right. It, it was the Hobbit oh, Battle of Five yeah. Armies. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I didn't train to be a classical actor for 90 fucking years to look at oh. green balls. Yeah, yeah, it's really sad, and though. Then, and then there was a thing where they had to, like, release it in 8K and 60 frames a second or something. Uh, like, it was one of the first movies to be released at such a high frame rate, and it started making people sick. Like, moviegoers hated it. Yeah, people don't like 60 FPS. Well, apparently not in movies, and people pointed out that at such high quality, it was, you know, all the props were very obvious. Like, all of the editing and shit, and uh, the set pieces, like, people were coming out of the movie saying, like, dude, that was like the, the, the green screen is so apparent at such a high quality and such. So they, they fucked be, that yeah. up all the ways. Mm -hmm. Well, most movies are not even shot at 30 frames. They're shot at, like, 23.5 or something. 27.3, yeah. I believe, that's, is what that's it is. It. Yeah, I don't remember, but... Yeah, but these so motherfuckers I, want it to be all extra. Yeah, I, yeah. I can get 60 FPS for that being jarring, though, just for how movies are. Yeah, I'd hate 60 FPS for movies. Yeah, just looks weird. You ever think how movies are kind of, uh... Do you think they've, like, reached the end game? In the sense that, like, I feel like we don't know many movies from 100 years ago, but that's because, like, technologically, they're so far back. But now, like, movies, like, they, they look like they look pretty real life. Like, everything, you know, unless they mm -hmm. do a lot of CGI, they look really good. Mm -hmm. That you can create a movie that in 100 years will hold up to a movie they create then. Mm. Unless I have a bad yeah. technology mind. Yeah. So we're reaching, like, the peak of graphical fidelity. Yes. I would argue, yeah. At least, yeah. at least in movies, yeah. I think there's still room of, in like games and such to grow. Like I think yeah, they reached movies. out with music a while mm -hmm. ago. Well, games music. is a different issue because there's player immersion. I mean, how how fun is it going to be if you're playing Call of Duty and everyone's photorealistic and you're like cutting people's heads off and <laughs> shit like that? Like watching the light for. leave men's eyes in real like shit in VR. <laughs> PTSD yeah. from one Call of Duty session. That'd be fucking intense though. That'd be incredibly intense. War training material. That would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you're right. I mean, graphics have gotten so good. Where do you go beyond lifelike? Right. I mean, at that point, you have to go with stuff that isn't realistic. Mm hmm. Well, we're. It, oh, then again, I think some progress can still be made, Ludwig. Do you remember. Was it The Irishman on Netflix? Another movie that's like six hours oh, yeah. long? Oh, yeah, the De Niro one. And not a bad movie. Yeah, they took this 80-year-old man, but they CG'd him into a 20-year-old, but he still moves like a stiff Terminator, and the facial expressions all look goofy. They, yeah, like, it looks like one of the White dude, Walkers from Game of Thrones. <laughs> dude, it's like watching Yoda, but it's, it's a real person. The graphics look all super realistic, and I'm like almost, I'm buying it, like, I'm intuitively immersed. Okay, my disbelief is dispelled, but something is still off. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I think that that's it. It's like, I don't want to call them gimmicks, but it's like, you know, if they did it practically, it'd be fine. But they if they want to do some weird work around and make an 80-year-old man 20 years old. They probably need some more technology to do that. It's asking a lot. That's <laughs> 60 don't... years. It is asking a lot. Yeah, a but order. I don't know why they didn't just use a body double and CG his face yeah. onto a younger man instead of literally having Robert De Niro 
like mm-hmm. there was this one fight scene and he, he moves like a grandpa but he's supposed to be 30 it just that that's what uh, ruined it i i would so much rather just do it the classical way where you get actors that look like them when they were younger to play the role like what's wrong with that Mm. what's the problem yeah, or do that it's it's like you never yeah you can nitpick and be all like ah oh, well his mole's not on that side blah, blah. it's like who gives a fuck it looks similar enough and this is the movie establishes yep that's him when he was younger that's all you need it's suspension of disbelief but at some point we won't we won't even need actors we'll just be out of cg our own characters in that are like <laughs> that's true human life i've been thinking about man. that too at a certain point you'll be able to literally just make an ensemble cast you could have marilyn monroe and everyone else from the past like in this crazy cast for a new lord of the rings movie not or even something. not even just visuals they're gonna like do could, that you could get yeah. their voices and such it'd be cheaper than getting the actual actors and actresses too yeah well, she's dead like you said, it would be cheaper to get the digital <laughs> yeah. actress. You'd have to get a necromancer to bring her back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get her corpse, her original bones, find a trinket she loved in life. and Yeah, it'd save you a lot of time. That'll yeah, first happen casting. in porn and then come to movies. True. Yeah, very Absolutely. true. Porn is the greatest innovator of technology. Porn is the fucking way paver yeah. for, vi- for video. <laughs> porn invented VR and no one can tell me otherwise. Porn is why we chose Blu-ray over <laughs> HD DVD. I believe that. that. I don't even know if that's true. It's 100% true. true. The, when HD, DVD, and Blu-ray were fighting super hard, porn went with Blu-ray, and that's why we have Blu-rays now. <laughs> that, that's a real fact. <laughs> Who the fuck buys porn yeah. Blu-ray? Yeah. Well, wait, back back, back when these what? were new. Back when these were new things. <laughs> oh, wait. When the Blu-ray came out. I feel like it was a while ago. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, guys, we're old. Blu-rays came out, what, like... 12 years ago? a decade ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but, but, yeah, but the internet that at was the still time, prevalent then. It was new, so not first of all, imagine being someone who buys porn, and then on top of it, you you want to buy porn so hard that you're willing to invest in a new medium. That is <laughs> yeah. devious. But that's 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 what happened. Wow, you, got, you gotta remember, people are old. No, well, I think, think it's the, also the like forty year old back then. Is I think it's know like it's like the... you're splurging. You're like tr- like when I got my VR headset, that's the first place I went, just like it, out of curiosity. And oh, I think yeah, Blu-ray sure. was uh-huh. the, it was the VR of <laughs> two thousand and eight. The VR of the Obama era, if you will. Yeah, 2006, actually. Even earlier. Really? Jesus. Yeah, 2006 is when Blu-ray came out. Crazy Blu-ray came out then, and then the Wii only had 720p enabled. Yeah. So back in that era, people absolutely still bought porn and Blu-rays and shit. I think I would look up movies that I knew had boobs in them and look at the screenshots. (laughs) Same. Uh, Same. I used to just pause it. Yeah. yeah, I remember yeah. Uh, my go-to was a movie called Used Cars. I don't think anyone here has ever heard of that shit. But it was about like a used car salesman, and once he gets like topless women to dance on cars for like twenty seconds, I was like, "This is it." When this I was a kid, it's tried and true. When I was yeah. a kid, my favorite, one of my favorite movies ever was The Fifth Element, and it, half of it was oh. because that's a great little sci-fi romp. But the other half was in the beginning. You see a lot of Mila Jovovich's titties, and I was like, "Let's watch nice. The Fifth Element. It's a great movie." Do you see your titties? You do when she's being uh, when she's being cloned, I think, or created in the little the human tube in the beginning. Remember, she's naked and they wrap her in the bandages. Yeah, but you can't see her titties. Yeah, you see her titties. I looked up the Fifth Element boobs, and yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I did the same. <laughs> I looked up Fifth Element titties. <laughs> <laughs> I looked up boobies like I'm eight. <laughs> 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 you're so jaded about it too like eh, i guess whereas at the time if you were eight years old this would be the shit Fuck yeah. Yeah. No, I, I could see it I, I, I could see it yeah look up the whole nine yards boobs yeah here i'll, I'll post the big. i'll post the image in our patreon chat here but like look there's her titties this was my girl Oh, yeah. You're right. But that's, that's not a very sexy shot though. Hey that man, was I, was, so I was I was like six. That I, was like I, I was yeah, I was literally ten. This was mind blowing. She used her yeah. boobs to distract people and then shot at them. All right. It was hot. It was daring yeah. in a way. So Fifth Element came out when I was six years old, and I remember watching it not long after it came out. So yeah, when I was like eight or nine, that was the greatest shot in movie history to me. 
Wow, I never knew about the whole nine yards. This would have been a yeah. game changer. Holy shit, it's titties yeah, well, everywhere. There's so much titties. This yeah, was my awakening. Fuck. Amanda Pete. Did so so did this impact any of your like uh later fetishes or like were you into women with Yeah, girls? do you yeah. like titties or... now? Yeah, I want my I want my girl to bring <laughs> out the Do you nine. like passed out women? <laughs> That's I a like different movie. When they show up with a Glock <laughs> pointing at me and then have their titties out. Yeah. God. Who doesn't? Did you bring it up earlier? Uh, the Austin Powers scene where she has guns in her tits, the robot? Uh, the oh, the film bots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah I, I remember as a kid also thinking that was cool as fuck. I was like, man, they got guns in their tits. Whoa. And like, I would rewatch that scene a lot. <laughs> Oh, it's not very sexy though. She's shooting no, at it's people. Not, it's, yeah. it's it's not very sexy. But again, we're going back to the the fifth element argument. It's like as a fucking ten year old, that was the coolest shit ever. Like tits and guns. Whoa. It's yeah. It's a, a little less sexy than the Katy Perry boob gun. Mm hmm. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't nearly as cool. I've typed in boob titties so many times today, and it's been like a really nostalgic <laughs> trip right now. Yeah. It's 9 a.m. for me. This is an absurd time to be Googling boob titties, but, you know, I'm down yeah, for it. This used to be one of my jobs. Speaking in the, uh, or staying on this topic, we might as well ask the classic question. Do you have any wild masturbatory tales, Ludwig? Oh, masturbatory. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I also don't want to let mm -hmm. him get away from that. This used to be one of my jobs comment. I'd love for you to explain that. All right, all right. I'll, I'll hit both. So first, Thank you. let's talk about masturbation. When I was a child, I didn't right. do it right. You know, I, I look, I'm uncut. I'm like, I'm like you Australians. I'm, I'm imagining. No, I'm cut. I'm Fuck. Cut. This is so embarrassing. Yeah. All right. I'm like, those <laughs> you're Europeans. alone here. He's alone. Everyone points at his dick and ah, laugh. Ah, his dick's <laughs> normal. Huh? No, I swear. Ah, it, look, it looks normal with the, with the light. With the light. Ah, it's just the shadows. Anyway, uh, the way I used to do it is I wouldn't like, you know, like it sounds like jerk off. I would I would I would just swing it back and forth like a <laughs> pendulum on my bed sheet. And that's how I would do it. But not for like a day or two for like my first two years. That's how I would run it. What does it have to be? What does it have to do with being uncut? Yeah. Well, I think it's just because it's more sensitive. So it, it got the oh, job right, done. Dynamic. Yeah. Okay. Like, cause I that that's all I had to like. I imagine that if most people tried that, it wouldn't do anything at all, <laughs> because it's yeah, ju just rubbing yeah. skin against bed. But it worked for me. Oh, and then, so you you, yeah. you just rubbed your cock along the bed sheet? Basically. I just rubbed my cock on the bed sheet. Oh, you were humping your mattress then? It yeah, wasn't it even humping. It was okay, just like it was like yeah, it was literally a pendulum. Or what's the one that a metronome? Huh. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the metronome. I'd see. <laughs> yeah, what you're he was saying. keeping okay. okay. I was yeah, keeping yeah, in touch sense. with my name, like Beethoven. A little okay. bit of music mm -hmm. in an, every part so of that, my life. That, that means you would have blasted your load all over your bed sheets, though. That doesn't seem very. No, I feel like back in the day, I, maybe it's just me. I didn't blast a load. You finish, and it's like one of those cartoon wallets. It's like <laughs> and nothing comes out. <laughs> 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 That was a great sound effect, too. <laughs> yeah. I, could, I, I pictured Tom and Jerry right then and there. Like, wow, that's, mm -hmm. I that's see it. the visual of what my yeah. dick looked like when I was 10 now. That's what I wanted to happen. Yeah, I was able to really put myself in the position of a 10-year-old slapping his meat on his bed. That was, that was big. Uh, were you guys... Oh, you guys weren't dropping big loads. Hard loads. No, but no. there was still... No. Like, no. There was leftovers. There was but absolutely, man, was... like, fluid... I'm also, yeah. but I, you're also 10, so it's like, you know, I think you care oh, less yeah. about the world yeah, and yeah, the yeah. things that you do to it. <laughs> yeah, that's mom's problem. <laughs> the bad shit's are hers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kids are uh, psychopaths. And bad child actors. <laughs> they really are. Oh, They're yeah, assholes. my job. My job. I, I worked at Snapchat for a few months. In a, oh. I would uh, moderate really? cues for like, public um like if you go to coachella and you upload your snapchat to coachella's page or whatever it would have to fall mm. in terms of service and a lot of what i had to block out was porn mm. uh, so i'd watch porn oh. at like 8 a.m which was a weird experience to do at work god that's gotta suck so that you were, have to fucking you were a content moderator right yeah i was just a content moderator exactly yeah oh, dude that 
that had to be a miserable existence. I read this one article, I forgot where, but it was about Facebook moderators who, like, apparently they regularly kill themselves because of all the shit that they have to see, the, like, trying to curate the timeline for people. It's like, you know, because, you know, people upload illegal shit, they upload cartel executions, animal torture, that sort of shit, like child porn, and they have to sit there day in and day out, nine to five, staring at that shit, and, you know, they... They interviewed a bunch and just it apparently kills their soul. Really? Yeah. I mean, I guess it was similar yeah. thing. I mean, it wasn't as bad. It was mostly like, because like some of the things were, you know, half the things were good. I would let them go through, and then the other half were like <laughs> porn surgery. Nice ass. <laughs> good ass. No, yeah, like it is porn. It depended but on size and, and bounce. If I, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, most of yeah, it was fine. The worst thing I would yeah, see you is message surgery. the user. <laughs> <laughs> oh. surgery why the fuck surgery i don't know but surgeons thought that snapchat would be a good marketing tool for what? the business so they would show their surgery on snapchat oh and my it, god that's scarring seeing like is that legal N no i mean not against terms of service like, we're not putting that to the <laughs> you can post it on your snapchat but I, like i'm not trying to put that on you know coachella's page or whatever the hell they're doing <laughs> <laughs> you should have yeah, like, before that, you that quit just like have those, it all surgery uh, you know sometimes the surgeons will get caught like surgeon uh, filmed twerking over unconscious patients uh, and such right or they yeah. like uh, take out the patient's hearts and like spit on it or something that sounds like them kind of people who'd snapchat their own surgery it, it now is just on tiktok like they don't have any it's not against from the service for tiktok they just have there's surgery tiktok <laughs> And you just see cut open <laughs> bodies and boobs uh, being put in and uh, taken out. I I know there are a subsect of the, our population that loves that and think it's cool. I think it's fucking nasty as hell. Agreed. Just I makes me gross. uncomfortable. It's like yeah. not a good sensation looking at it. It makes me feel yeah. icky and gross. Yeah, because it is. It is. Yeah, and it's certainly not welcomed on Snapchat, I would say. You were a hero, Ludwig, a hero from behind the scenes. I saved the day, and I let a few boobs Indeed. slide, and that and that was for the people. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, hero. How long did you say you worked there? A couple months? I worked there for four months until I got let go. There you go, five for letting too many <laughs> boobs <laughs> through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's three, Why did you get fired? three boobs too many. I think they just got rid of the department. I should have gotten fired. I used to steal so much. <laughs> what? Wait, steal what? I would roll up. So it, it was like I was a contractor, but I was able to work at Snapchat headquarters in Santa Monica, which is like it's like really nice. And they have a bunch of free food and like mm. they have those fridges that you talk about, like Silicon Valley fridges with like, you know, mm. coconut water. They got baby bell. They got tea they got red bull they got a bunch of shit oh baby bell is the shit i love baby bells so i would roll up with two trader joe's bags because i had access at all, any point <laughs> at midnight because it's the 24 7 <laughs> job it's a 24 7 job and sometimes my hours would be that uh, and i would roll up at midnight with two trader joe's bags i would fill it to the brim every friday <laughs> and i would just leave <laughs> I would take like two hundred dollars worth of shit from them, because I knew that five feet away, not five feet away from the fridge, in a pantry with eighty times the amount of shit, they'd be fine at Snapchat. Uh, you should have stolen from the pantry. I mean, that's then. fair. Yeah, you should have gone. Well, right I, prefer, yeah. look, I want my baby. Should have rolled up with a dump uh, truck. I wanted it cold. <laughs> Uh, so I did that every week for like, you know, two months. I walked away with probably like a thousand dollars worth of shit. My bad Snapchat. <laughs> We're good now. I, I imagine they haven't <laughs> held on to that grudge. They've been investigating this theft for the last year or so. <laughs> just waiting to pin it on you. They're inept. I, I, they, they gave me a MacBook and at the end of it, like I was supposed to turn it in. So I did two months later, they call me. They're like, Hey, um, did you ever return the MacBook? <laughs> Which means somebody along oh. the line stole the MacBook and <laughs> never gave it back, and they don't know how wow. to track it. Jesus. Oh, these guys are dummies. Yeah, Maybe dumb, CEOs man. sitting around like, "How? Why aren't we turning a profit? I don't understand." They're Where's all the money going. Inept as a company. Why are we losing so much in pantry supplies? It's <laughs> the CEO looks at the books. We've lost eighty thousand in Baby Bell this year. This is absurd. <laughs> and our timeline is full of tits. What is going on? <laughs> Everything's going wrong. 
Uh, but yeah. They're getting sabotaged. No longer yeah. there. Well, I'm glad you admitted to the crime live on air. If you do get investigated, yeah, we're going sorry. To jail. The yeah. statute jail, of man. limitations can't be longer than two years on Baby Bell Thief. <laughs> I think when it's a thousand dollars worth of Baby Bell, though, it crosses that line from like petty theft, petty theft to like yeah, actual felony. larceny. What is the, it might be two fifty. Two fifty is the number for, let's, for like anything under is petty. Let's yeah, see. I think larceny is two fifty. Count as anything over stealing. three. Anything over three hundred dollars becomes fourth degree felony. St or fourth, Jesus, fourth degree theft, which is still still a misdemeanor. Gentlemen, but, could, okay. I, could I reiterate? It's I stole two hundred ninety nine dollars <laughs> worth of baby bell, <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. And then I was full. I so <laughs> look at, looking much. at it, you had to have taken fifteen hundred or more dollars worth for it to be a felony. Oh, we're good. Uh, okay. Yeah. So you're in the clear. You're fine. Because I'm also, also I'm due a certain amount. It, it, this can't be <laughs> technically theft. The food is there for you. I mean. Oh, it's theft you because I was taking it kind of just to bring it to my house fuck. and fill up my mini fridge. <laughs> I, yeah, that's uh, where it becomes different, I think. Yeah, I think if you're on campus, it's like an amenity meant to make you stay there longer, work longer. But if you just bring it back to yours <laughs> and then watch HBO Game of Thrones, they're probably not that hype on it. Yeah, they probably wouldn't care too much for that tactic. Mm-hmm. So it's fifteen hundred dollars before it becomes a, f a theft felony, Andrew. Yeah, that might be localized per. It might be different per state, though. Let me look up. Uh, hmm. All right, we don't have to get too into the weeds of it, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, I don't want to dox. I don't want to dox our illustrious guest. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, we're yeah, trying we're, to create a case. Let's, let's do. Florida. Let's do yeah, Florida. We don't, to, we don't need to figure this one out. Yeah, Florida's yeah. great. Florida's great. Yeah, yeah. Love the sunshine it's, state. <laughs> That's California. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fuck Florida is these days. Uh, yeah, apparently in Florida it is only seven hundred fifty or more, and then it is third oh. degree theft, grand theft, Jeez. which makes it a felony. Cool, uh, grand that's good, theft. Yeah. Baby that's a good Bell. question for the whole classroom. So we know uh, Ludwig has a criminal past. Does anyone else? Have you guys ever stolen anything? Because I have. Nope. Really? You yeah. have? Yep. You sack of shit. I know. I. I I've never felt dirtier. I was like 11, well, probably less than that. I was probably like nine or 10. I was at my friend Bryce's house and he had this dope ass Digimon collection. I stole that whole fucking thing when we were jumping oh on the bus. Oh my God, you actual horrible person. Yep. Never gave Wait, it back. Wait, what do you mean Digimon? Do you mean carts? Yeah, or Digimon cards. What? So he had a binder of Digimon cards and we were jumping a on the bed. Wow. Yep, oh we were jumping on the bed watching Lord. Rocket Power. So You're he would, he would organize them. And, yep. And you still took it, knowing never that that was to valuable to him. <laughs> yep, I never talked to him <laughs> after that either. I, I got away with it. <laughs> you asshole. I like how wow, in dude. your memory you said it, you felt ashamed, and you talk about it pridefully in a way. Well, yeah. it, was a good, it was a good scheme, because I knew where they were. <laughs> he, was, he was showing me the cards, because we both collected Digimon and Pokemon at the time. And then he put it back under, I think it was his brother's bed, and we were jumping on his bed watching Rocket Power, and then before I was leaving, when Mom pulled up, excused myself to the restroom or so, I let him let him believe, and then I went oh, to his brother's room, took the binder under the shirt, out the door, never saw him again. Wow. <laughs> Did your mom not you notice? Dick. Oh, my mom made me feel so bad, but she's like, Charlie, this is a lesson you'll have to learn with guilt. And I was like, yeah. What, what do you mean? Why didn't she make you take it back? <laughs> no, yeah, she, yeah, she went, fuck? Charlie, you're going to have to learn a lesson of guilt. Now give me the cards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Your mom's the best up one here. Because the same thing happened to my sister. She took Pokemon Crystal from our neighbor's house. And then my mom noticed it immediately and said, you have to bring it back. But your mom just like, you keep it. <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck? Did your mom steal it from you? Like, oh, you don't like how it feels, do you? <laughs> I'm gonna keep these now. It was supposed to be like, a, eventually the guilt's gonna weigh on him until he gives it back, but it just never did. Like, I felt bad. I was like, shit, I'm probably going to hell for this. And I kept re like asking for reassurance. Like, I know this is a sin. Am I going to hell? And they're like, no, but you should definitely think about giving that back. And I was like, well, if I'm not going to no, hell, but I'm keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they you don't throw you. shit out either, so... I still that, have them. That binder still has to be. So yeah, you still have them. Jesus. No, I, I looked at them we, the other we day. should make a pilgrimage. Them. We should have an episode where we track him down and give him his yeah, cards back. Let's find Bryce. Yeah. Let's look yeah, up. The, what's let, Bryce? Let's look up the felony amount for an accomplice to larceny because I think <laughs> we got to book them both here. <laughs> yeah. 
How much no. is it worth, do you think, the binder now? Does anyone uh, even collect Digimon? No, it's a de- I, I was looking at prices when I found the binder like a couple weeks ago. It's not worth shit. You it's still like, have I, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I still have it. He got away with it. Oh, Bryce. He's the greatest Bryce thief so of the 20th cool century. century. They probably blamed his brother yes. for it. Give it back to Bryce. Yeah. If if Bryce tore, wants it back, he tore a family apart, man. If he I wants like it back, that. he'll 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 find a way to contact me somewhere. <laughs> what a fake, <laughs> fake <laughs> sentence. <laughs> You're probably gonna have so many Bryces reaching out to you now as well. Or people who change their name to Bryce. I'll need proof because I I remember what the house looked like. I'll never forget the crime scene. So well, the, 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 the key's the brother's <laughs> name, right? If they know the brother's I, name, they're in. I never met his brother. I only knew Bryce. So you stole from the brother's room without even knowing the name? No, of- I had no idea who his brother was. I'd never met him. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So did anyone else steal well, anything? Nope. I just like petty shit from grocery stores i've that's accidentally it. stolen shit like i borrowed something uh, from yeah. a friend and forgot i had it but that's about it oh just like charlie <laughs> yeah <laughs> no but mine mine would be like i don't know like i'd go to summer camp and i'd be like whoa you have this game for game boy let me play it and i'd put it in my game boy and play it and then just leave summer camp and be like oh shit i still have that game that's how i got tony hawk's pro skater 2 on game boy baby Ooh, yeah. that's big. That's Played cool. that game all summer, so thanks, man, whoever let me borrow it. We need to right, right our again. wrongs. You return the binder, you return the game, I return the baby bell. <laughs> oh, that'd be so cute. Yeah, we just clear our conscience in the eyes of the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Get to go to heaven. Forgot about one thing, though. <laughs> Our crippling yeah. addiction and our sins from opening cards. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna be standing at heaven's gates and they're gonna be like looking at me. Go, hey, I, I gave all the stuff back that I stole. Yeah, but you're still such a shitty person. <laughs> That's not enough. <laughs> yeah, you thought that like was the problem. Years. This is funny. <laughs> there are so many more problems with what you've done on Earth. Yeah. <laughs> What if they like sit you down and make you watch a recap of your whole life and all the shitty things you did and it's like the Hobbit trilogy, it's the 10 hours long. God, that'd be awful. I'm shocked you haven't stolen something, Jackson. You, you, when you were over here, you struck me as a a stealing kind of man. (laughs) What does that mean? Why? (laughs) I don't know. Charlie locked up all the good china. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, What? Put away the silverware. I've never stolen a single thing. I don't have the the spine for it. I really feel like you've definitely like, stolen something. You don't want to admit Tiana, to. Tiana, keep an eye on your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm like a thief, but a good thief, and I just don't admit to my crimes. Have on you the ever stolen podcast. something from a, like, like, like 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 a like a candy bar? Well, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like I've accidentally stolen things like that, where I've walked out of the store holding a candy bar or some shit like that, but never intentionally. Are you just like warming no, up I... your story for God at the pearly gates? What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Accidentally <laughs> slipped in my pocket, a couple of it Snickers. It was an accident. I swear. <laughs> Nothing we could have done to stop it. Still ate it when I got home, but you know how it is, God. <laughs> he knows how it is, you know. No, I've never, never stolen anything. I don't have the heart for it. I don't have the. I don't have the evil spirit you guys do, apparently. I don't know how you can steal from a friend. Oh, well, maybe maybe not Andrew Ludwig and and, and Kaya, but Charlie. That, what? That, that's Wait, Ludwig, Ludwig, Ludwig. Ludwig robbed a, a small indie company. Yeah, that's a corporation. Bell. That's a corporation. <laughs> that's how I view it. I'm down to steal from a corporation. Lu- yeah. Hey, Ludwig, Ludwig is did... basically Robin Hood of baby belts. Although, if I'm, I'm being real, what I really did is I fucked over the worker who had to get up at 5 a.m. to stock the fridges <laughs> <Yeah>. and <laughs> pick up way more cans of LaCroix this time around. Yeah, exactly. He took it out on the, the working class. It was, a, it was a child. It's not like he was going to do anything with the Digimon cards. He trusted you. You don't know. No, look, I'm down. Yeah. Uh, kids stealing things, I think, is fine. They're kids. They're psychopaths. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I've never stolen anything as an adult. Yeah. No, I'm saying stealing as a kid, not stealing from kids. Like adults can't steal from kids. Try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, now I see what we're saying. <laughs> Why not? It would Probably be much easier now. Twelve year old that just steals all his shit, <laughs> robs him blind. Hey, kid, you'll learn the world. <laughs> you just buy those from Walmart. Doing you a favor. Those Yu-Gi-Oh packs are mine now, nerd. <laughs> Literally taking lollipops from toddlers. You can't do that anymore as a kid. You can't go to Target and get Yu-Gi-Oh cards or Pokemon cards. Scalpers have ruined it. It's insane. 
they've actually it's been so bad I, I went to walmart like a month ago the walmarts in this area have enforced a rule where you can only buy <coughs> one pack of Yu-Gi-Oh, pokemon or magic cards per visit it's absurd it's probably because all you twist streamers are buying all the boxes yeah, it's up. your guys it's a fault, problem. I mean. no it's a coincidence we're it's buying coincidence. We're, we're also buying like the juicer boxes we're buying like the the wizards of the coast ones from ebay i'm talking about like a like a simple you know it, evolutions or like just sun and moon pack won't yeah. even be there yeah it's all is this gone. a new thing just i swear i've seen so many packs at like stores like last year well maybe not this year well i mean maybe not in australia it's i not actually thing, think it's but... different in australia because whenever yeah. i go on ebay to look at packs almost everyone who has things uh are from australia uh because i think there's virtually no difference from the like the na version and I, right. I, I think, I don't know, there's just a bunch of Australians who've hoarded them or something, or they're just on the shelf still because you guys don't give a fuck about Pokemon. I don't, I don't exactly know. Yeah, it's not massive over here. But I was, I was asking if it's just <clears throat> like there's been a resurgence in America yeah. lately. Oh, of course. For sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's thanks to you guys. We're heroes. Yeah. We're fighting against Nintendo the only way it matters by helping them make money, baby. <laughs> Let's go. By, by pushing children out of their own hobbies. <laughs> well, if you want to look at it that way, I think it's more getting them used to competition would be more how I'd look at uh, it. Training them. Well, at least you're buying them now instead of stealing again. <laughs> There's some progress. <laughs> If I could, I'd go to every child's Christmas stocking and take their packs. Trust me, I'd be in there. <laughs> I'd be the Grinch. Like a reverse Santa. Yeah, the yeah. Grinch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Krampus is visiting. Leave them cold, too. Yeah. Even worse, I'd leave them Digimon cards. They'd be fucking upset. <laughs> Bryce sends his regards. Then we should do that. Yeah. Why don't we auction off a signed Digimon card every week on the podcast? Fuck no, they're not even my Give Digimon so. cards. They, they're still his. He bought You've them. had you them have in your possession yeah. for like 15 years, Charlie. Like, they're yours yeah, now. Right. I'll never sell them. It's a, little, it's a little piece of brace that lives on in the, the closet downstairs. He was a good friend. <laughs> Why? Stole, it's God not a hot crux. Soul. He won't return them, but he will still refer to them as Bryce's. Yeah. <laughs> You've technically owned them longer than he ever has. Yeah. I've been grandfathered into the ownership now. Statue of Limitations says yes, I think. I think his name's on the binder, though, so that'd be a hard one to fight. Uh, that's true. That's like Andy and Woody. Yeah. They can't be separated <laughs> until the name's erased. <laughs> <laughs> that's the next step. Yeah. That's how the spell went. Do you want to like, do the cards talk to each other and cry and miss their original owner? <laughs> In the pack, we never got to be opened by Bryce. <laughs> One day never we'll be with us. <laughs> That's That's a, that's a movie waiting to happen. Yeah. Uh, not a good one. But no, better than yeah. Artemis Fowl, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. It'd be mm. hard to be worse than Artemis Fowl, yeah. Yeah. All right, boys. Well, we've reached that time. I think we can go ahead and wrap up now. Ludwig, please shout out all your content mm -hmm. and all the wonderful things you're doing online. Uh, gentlemen, yeah, it's a pleasure. I, look, the only thing I'm excited to do is open up this Pokemon pack. It's the only thing I care about. I'm, do I'm <laughs> doing it tomorrow, and I could not be more excited because it's my first time ever doing it. God bless, by the way. Oh, thank you. I tried to hide that the best I could. I'm sorry. Good. You're so good. Uh, it's all right that you interrupted me talking about one of the most important things that's going to happen in my life. But <laughs> sure, your show. Your show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's I'm it. I'm glad that's you all. finally get it. Yeah. That's all. That's all I want is uh, is is Pokemon Week. Watch Charlie react to it. I, I can't wait for your box either. I still have a third of it, right? I got a piece of that. Yep. Dude. That's right. Ludwig and I are splitting a first ed gym challenge after his legendary collection tomorrow. I feel yes, like tomorrow, gym right? challenges have only ever done you dirty. No, bro. I pulled the Blaine's Charizard. Remember? Yeah, That's the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But the f oh no, the first one you didn't open. That was that was Miz, right? That one. Yeah, that, that, dirty. that one. That one was tough. That was. I'm I'm a little nervous for this. Like everyone opening their box because like some people are new to it. Like you know, like, yeah. I don't think Pokey knows the sting of a bad mm. box and if her first box after me telling her to spend thirty five thousand dollars is terrible it's it's not the best look it's gonna be a little <laughs> awkward in the dms I, yeah she can 
Yeah. Have Charlie send her the Digimon cards as a consolation. Yeah, we'll do that, and I'll send her some Baby well, Bell. We'll chop it up. Yeah, let's not get carried away, though. <laughs> you can send Baby Bell, but those Digimon cards are not leaving that sarcophagus. Uh, but yeah, that's that's all I got, boys. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. No, right, thank you for coming on, man. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely, man. Mm. Thanks for coming on, and uh, preemptive congratulations. I know you're approaching the one million follower mark, man. That's huge. I thought you were going to say congrats in the reverse all of Charizard. <laughs> that's only where my mind's at. But yeah, the million is coming up. The million's coming up. That's that's okay, I guess. But, you know, the Charizard. Yeah, the Charizard's cool, too. The I Charizard's. Uh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, all right, boys. Take us out, Jackson. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, everyone, for listening to this week's episode. Patreon.com slash the official podcast. Go check it out. We've got content over there. Bonus content. Lots of episodes. We just released bonus episode 69. We talked about Nintendo in that one quite a bit. So if you liked us talking about Nintendo this episode, go listen there. We thank you all for listening. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.